the not so le petit vin d'avril. Avril? Yep, that Avril. Paul Avril, one of the greatest producers in Chateauneuf du Pot. You know, as far as we know, he doesn't make like a Cote d'Aron, like a lot of Chateauneuf producers do, like for an everyday wine. But he does make Le Petit Vin d'Avril, which, like I said before, ain't so petit. Wow! We were stunned by the brilliant yet quiet intensity of this wine. Pour it out, the color is really healthy. Uh, a dark, rich, you know, dark, rich ruby color in this wine. This blast of, to me, classic Grenache fruit. Um, Chateau Neuf E, with that little Kirschy edge. A little less Kirschy, a little less of that Surmiturite kind of overripeness that we see from the Avril Chateau Neuf proper, and more just straight ripeness. And the wine's a touch more vivid, if a little simpler than the Avril Chateau Neuf, which kind of expands and gets a little more complex and has finer tannins. But my gosh, for an everyday just Van de Taub, uh, I think there's Cabernet or Merlot in here, so he can't, he can't put a vintage on it. But I'm guessing a lot of this, just a guess, because he doesn't put anything on the label, doesn't tell you what vintage or lot number or anything like that. I'm guessing there's a fair bit of declassified Chateauneuf, maybe even from the 2010 vintage in here. This wine is so remarkable for the money. Uh, we bought it, we tasted it, loved it, went back and bought more. It is basically Chateauneuf quality at Cote d'Ivoire pricing, and we love that. You should buy this.